Hello everybody, it's Gravity the Ghost. And uh, as you all know, Byleth just recently came out. Um, I've been doing a little bit of here and there playing with Byleth on the back end. But what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to play through Classic Mode with Byleth. And just uh, try to see how well they play. I'm going to be using um, the Stiltus Byleth. Let me just make sure. Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's see how far I can get with uh, 5 oh, no. <laughs> Definitely gonna lose, probably. Um, woo! <laughs> Alright, first we're fighting up against Marth. Ready? Go! <laughs> Down there is really strong. Like you can like feel the, the strength in that move. All right, we got Roy. Ready? Go! Oh, we're doing an HP battle. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I didn't realize we're doing stamina. I didn't. I, I didn't even notice we were doing stamina when I was fighting Marth. <laughs> Oops. Never mind. <laughs> All right, we're doing both. Well, we're fighting both ice. Okay. Oh, that actually hit behind? What? What? Oh, okay. Okay, nice perfect shield. All right, all right. Get him with the mirror. Pretty nice, nice, nice. All right, we're at seven. We're at seven point two already. Okay. Okay, we're getting against the awakening characters. Ready? There's three awakening characters Go! in this game. What the heck? <laughs> I'm about to kill Chrome that easily. Yes. <laughs> Well then, okay. You're next, Lucina. <laughs> Even with the hilt, it's, it killed. I. <laughs> Ooh, we're at 8.1. I'm almost there. What's next? Fates? Yeah. You know, Fates, I like, Fates was okay. My only thing about Fates is that, uh, it was pretty boring after a while. And from a lot of people, from a lot of people agree, the, uh, the story wasn't very, wasn't the best. Oh, how am I going to get up there? I'm about to lose. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, I'm about to die. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm here sitting here talking about Fire Emblem Fates, and I'm out here dying. <laughs> but seriously, Fire Emblem Fates, it was okay, but I agree with a lot of the people that it wasn't the best, and it was pretty shallow, mediocre. Well, I wouldn't say mediocre, but just eh. All right, so we're fighting against what's supposed to be the house tables. My guess is that uh, they're gonna use only the um, <laughs> only the weapons they're supposed to be using. No. Why are you using fail? <laughs> Wait, that's not fail. Oh, this is super chaotic. I don't like this. I'm about to die. Oh, I got perfect shield. I'm literally seconds away from dying. Yo, am I about to live? Who's gonna die first? No! <laughs> ah, that would have been funny. <laughs> Alright, I'm using my ticket. That was hilarious. <laughs> but nah, it ain't gonna be like that. <laughs> I'm like, who's gonna get hit first? All right, nine point three. All right, we're gonna do the bonus game. I wish they had a different bonus game. Like, at least change it up a bit, or maybe add like had a random element to it. But it's always the same, so it's kind of it's boring. So it makes me not want to play classic mode for a mobile amount of time. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm here. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. The run speed isn't the best, obviously. They mentioned that already, but I don't mind it. I couldn't, couldn't even get to that if I even tried. Let's try to get some of this stuff. This is always the most boring part of the classic mode. I wish they had something different. Like, I wouldn't even mind if they brought back, like, I don't know, um... Target Blast was alright. Or, um, what's the other one? I forget what it's called. Oh, we're fighting against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Oh, are we fighting, are we also fighting... I'm, wait. Oh! We have ev all the Fire Emblem characters on our side. Oh, we fight. In, we use in every Fire Emblem. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh no, they're all CPUs. Oh no, they're on our side. Never mind. Well, they all died. Yeah, we about to use a mirror right now. Yeah, take eat that up, boy. What is going on? I can't even tell what's happening. What? Continue. Oh. Okay. It'd be like that sometimes. Wait, we're bringing, we're bringing them all back? I don't think that's really necessary, but okay. I mean, do what you want. Hit him with that, uh, <laughs> hit him with that side beat. Okay, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> I probably didn't go to 9.9 .9 since I used a ticket. Yeah, 9.8. Wow. Almost there. <laughs> we almost made it. But hey, we got 9.8. <laughs> Oh, I like this song. But yeah. A lot of people were mad about Violet being a Smash. I'm here sitting here like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I unironically, unironically am just loving this. I like Violet's Musa. It's really fun. It's kind of like, I like to think of them as like they're a heavy, well, they're like a mix of different things. They're a mix of a ranged character, a heavy character, um, and just a basic, you know, run-of-the-mill
I don't know, uh, weapon user character. I don't want to say sword fighter because they use more than a sword. But you know, they got the range with the with with Felnot, Aridfar, and then they got the power with Amir, and they got the uh, just like the utility with the with uh, the sword of the creator. And honestly, <laughs> I was seeing a couple of the combo videos people have been coming up with, and uh, oh boy, uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't turn out to be uh, anything majorly in dangerous, like a bayonetta situation. That's what someone thought it was gonna. That's what someone said, like, oh, they got bayo combo. Nah, it ain't gonna happen. Um, I know I'm just rambling here while I'm doing the end credits. I mean, why not? I could just give my extended thoughts on my left. But basically, I think Byleth is going to be a pretty good character. Maybe not like top of the top, but maybe like a good middle character. That's just what I think. You know, in the middle of the game. Because yeah, there are some bad, there are some good, really good points about Byleth, given its power and its reach. But the only, I see the major downside to Byleth being the landing lag a lot of the moves have, and a lot of the startup for some of the moves, including um, the neutral B. <laughs> Sakurai wasn't kidding when it said that even if you press B, it's still gonna go through the charging sequence if you just do a quick press. So yeah, the, a lot of his moves, a lot of their moves have like, a lot of startup or a lot of ending lag. So that's probably gonna be the main thing that will hold them back a bit, which is probably why they're a bit more focused towards spacing. But overall, I think Byleth is going to turn out pretty alright. Hey, I finished up my talking right at the end. Well, let's see what the ending picture is. <laughs> You're having tea with Edelgard. I'm pretty sure that was meant to be Edelgard. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, tea time. Hey. <laughs> That was really good. Okay, so we got the Byleth Fighter Spirit. We got the female one, too. I used the female one. Why did I get the female Fighter Spirit? <laughs> I mean, okay. I guess I'll probably have to buy it in the shop or something. But yeah. That's pretty much it for my first thoughts on Byleth. Playing him in classic mode and such. And giving my what I think about Byleth. I personally like the character, and I think I'll be using it or occasionally, just like with the other DLC characters. Really, the only DLC character that didn't uh, stick well with me, or well, I just I'm not, I just don't know how to function with is Joker. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about Joker that I just, it, I just can't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the character and all. It's just that I just can't with the, <laughs> I can't weigh in. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Gravity, and I hope to see you guys in a future video. See ya!